Hey G Squad, welcome back to an episode of Is It Worth It? So for today's episode, we got this cool, amazing power right here in my hand that's by a brand called Cole Hands. And pretty much what it is, is their Zero Grand Waterproof Chelsea Boots. So first thing first, let's see the unboxing and show you what the product looks like first. So if you can see Zero Grand right there, and then we open the package, this is basically what it looks like. So if you can see the two Chelsea boots inside. So basically both sides of the boots look the same, but let's take out one side of it. So here is what the product looks like. Very nice kind of leather material overall. I actually really like this design a lot, if you guys can see right here. Like the moment you guys open the package and feel the product, you guys can definitely feel that the product is actually made out of really good uh, material. This shoe itself has a very nice kind of like design based off if you guys look at how it looks like. It has that very premium kind of leather material look to it, but also kind of get that sneaker kind of like design on here at the bottom so you guys can look semi-formal in a way to like your uh, special occasions. Let's look at the bottom side though. So on the bottom, this is what it looks like if you can see. Very similar to the other one that I tested from last time. It has that anti-slip uh, grip right here and right here. So that way when you guys are wearing for rainy seasons or rainy days, you guys don't have to worry about slipping or not when you guys wear the shoe. And if you look right here, it has a very nice kind of design where it actually can stretch. So when you guys put in your shoe uh, through the hole, this part can actually stretch. So let me show you guys what I mean. So you guys can see, it's actually really, really stretchable. The inside basically looks something like that, so it looks exactly like the other one that I tried from last time. But that's basically everything that's on this product. Now let's actually go do the waterproof test and then come back and talk about the product. Alright, so here we have the shoe that's by Kohan, that's the leather one. This is the totally kind of boot, and this one's actually waterproof, but let's test that right now and see whether or not that's the case or not. So you can see the water just simply just uh, slipping off the boot very easily. If I turn off the water, you can see it all slide out. If it doesn't fully clean it off, just use like a piece of paper and wipe it off. So you can see that's the boot itself. Alright, welcome back guys. So now that you guys saw the test of the product, you guys can see that the shoe itself is actually waterproof. Like when I had the water just running, the water just simply just slips off the boot itself. So this shoe itself looks nice. Feels nice, easy to put on, don't have to worry about any kind of shoelace. So you guys can definitely use this as a either professional setting shoe, a casual shoe. Doesn't matter what scenario you guys want to use it for, you guys can definitely wear it. Just probably not as like a running shoe or a basketball shoe or something, but if you guys really want to, you guys can. So now that we did the unboxing and testing of the product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. I got really, really lucky because when I bought this, I actually bought this in the same time that I bought my other hiker's boot during the Cyber Monday deal. So I got this one for around $120. So that was definitely a steal because now if you guys look at the price on Amazon, it went back up a lot, which was around like $200 or $250 or something like that, which is really, really expensive for a shoe, but you guys definitely paying for that quality material on here and really, really useful for like rainy seasons and whatnot. So pretty much long story short to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it not for me honestly i have to say that these are actually really really worth it but then obviously for those guys who don't want one or don't need one or just don't like this at all then obviously don't buy it and save your money for something else they actually do need but other than that that's pretty much it for a little unboxing testing and feedback about the product hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did then make sure to subscribe like and comment down below and if you guys like this video and you just want to see more then make sure to click on that bell notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that be coming up in the future but as always make sure to stay positive be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today's G Squad fan shout out day, we have.